All right, Phil, what are we up to? All right, mate. Oh, you know, just usual Friday afternoon sort of thing. You no, know, just bumming about, not doing anything really. No, that's a lie, actually. While we're here, we might as well have a look at this bad boy. Oh. So following on from our field test video, this is our overview video of the Platinum Clips Ether. Nice little box comes in, nice and sturdy, nicely patterned. Let's get it now. Let's have a look at side tree. Enough fooling about. Enough fooling about. That's good. So it comes in an extremely well packaged little sort of package. Let's just stow that away a minute. So we just have a quick run through what you get with it. Make sure I do it the right way up, because I don't want anything falling out. Okay, so it's just like a little ammo case almost. Um, so here you get, you get a nice little uh, a DVD of some sort. And then of course you get the very extensive manual, which is quite in depth. And then you get a usual sort of obligatory power, power sock. sock, spear, some glue, natty little tool kit. Of course you get your, your marker, your two piece barrel. All right, so just set that to one side a moment. So if we take this bad boy out, it's well packaged in there, it's not coming out. Quite a few spears, bits and bobs as well, which is good. Lots of different bits in there. As you can see, it's quite extensive in this tool kit, which is Allen keys in effect, I can't get them out. Okay, so here you've got your nice little marker, and then you've got two piece barrels, sharp four barrels, left hand thread, of course, so just in case you get a little bit confused, which, you know, Sort of thing that was to me. It's all related to age, isn't it? Yeah, it is age. So basically, is that right? Seen really far for it again then. Okay, so you know you got your your barrel, which you can leave as standard, or you could. Uh, oh, great for deadly it, wind. Whatever, yeah, deadly wind or whatever. A nice little whip tip on the end of it or something, didn't you? So here we go. This is it as standard. It's a lovely little marker. This great value for money. It's a really neat little package. It's quite nice, isn't it? Looks the boy. So you've got the usual sort of thing. You've got the inline reg here, all this system. You know, the FPS adjustment here. Clamp feed neck, which is very popular, of course. And then you've got the ASA on the bottom, which you were... Uh, On-off as well. Yeah. The on-off purge system, as they call it. So that's basically on and on there. And then, of course, you've got the important bits. Names. The triggers. Oh, I thought you were talking about the names. Oh, of the, the names, the names of the people. Big it. shout out to Steve. And Neil. Yeah, Steve and Neil. Steve and Neil. Good Somebody man. Neil and pass with Steve. So, yeah, it must work. Okay, then looking at it from the back, you've got the sort of bot mechanism and all in there. We'll come to that after. And the ODSA and the controls here. So, basically, what we'll go through first is just some of the controls. There are many, many, many different settings. I think there's something like five or six different settings you can have on the trigger alone mechanically. With all the screw settings, you can set it to how you want. Of course, you've got the the fire modes then, so we'll turn this on. Let's turn on a minute. Okay, so you've got different modes, etc. You've got different settings in here. Um, you cycle through them. So basically, there's different fire modes. Uh, there's four fire modes. With the one this highlights red, you've got four fire modes. And the first fire mode is basically one shot, one pull of the trigger. Um, then the next one I think is called Cat Semi, um, which is basically you can go anywhere, anywhere between sort of 4 to 15 balls a second. Obviously you can set the parameters in here which I'll run through quickly in a minute. And the next fire mode then is, is purple I believe and green. Basically um, they're to do with uh, like using the, the brake beam sensor and the maximum rate of fire. Depends on what ramping mode you set, either be PSP or the Millennium settings, um, you know, which is all easily done through this. And then you can also set the dwell and the bounce as well. So the dwell is the amount of time the solenoid is energized before it releases the shot of gas. So you can determine the length of time on that in milliseconds increments. Um, and with the bounce, obviously, it's the, the trigger bounce. So you can have it set so it's hardly any bounce or full bounce. So it's totally down to your personal taste. Let's turn this off for a minute. Okay, so that's off now. So basically when you go into uh, setting it up, basically as it says in the manual, just hold the trigger down for a number of seconds, hold this on till it flashes white, then let go, you're in that sort of mode. So there you go, you're in the firing mode now. And you can change all the settings by pulling the trigger quickly. Okay, so that changes your settings. And then if you press that again, you go into the next fire mode. And then if you press it again, I think it changes into 
the next one should do there you go so you know you can change these are all parameter settings that you can go into so you can go into a fire mode and then you can go into the parameter mode and set the parameters and the way you set parameters is basically by quickly pulling and release the trigger and the amount of flashes then shows you the amount of time of like dwell or whatever um, like I say it's pretty extensive it's all in this really really comprehensive little book you get with it, it you know it's a complete run through of everything you take things apart maintenance there are there's the firing modes and all explained there different balls per second and the uh, excuse me and the, as you can see the different color LEDs the tricolor LEDs so you know it's pretty extensive so we just set this down so again you just set it up to your personal preference or to the game rules like PSP Millennium or single shot whichever you prefer great all end marker um, remove of the bolt yeah well we look at the bolt system it's nice easy to do just unscrew this I'll look at the bolt system. If you were up to, to upgrade it? Yeah, of course you could upgrade it. You bolt. could use one of our tech bolts. Get a discount, uh, don't you, when you buy the tech bolt along with this marker? Yes, you certainly it's do. It's an option on our site. So here we go. Just take a sec. It's like diffusing a bomb, isn't it? It's like pulling the charge. Don't touch the sides. So there you go. That's okay, the working bits. That's the bolt and the spring. That's the business end of it. All right, like I say, the you can engine, as it, it were. Yeah. Okay, so you can upgrade You know, the bolt on these. There you go, it's nice and clean, you see clearly see the detents in there. Yeah. Um, so it's nice and easy to clean, you know. And it? maintain. And maintain. Great bit of kit, great value for money, excellent marker. We filled it, tested it the other day. I thoroughly enjoyed playing with it. Um, didn't really go into all the settings too much because Just the field we'd have been there all day. Um, but it's a great bit of kit. Highly recommended. Electro hopper for it, not yeah. a gravity fed. Yeah, sure. sure. Make oh, well, I mean, it. you could use a gravity fed if you're using it on single shot mode. By all means, but um, to get the best out of this, you've got to have an electric loader, something like a Pinocchio or a Die Rotor, or, you Spire. Know, or Spire, anything like that. This, you know, do this gun justice, really. Um, Pass by Steve here, let's see. Steve. Steve. And Neil on that one. Um, so, yeah, it's a great or in marker, great value for money, and available from us at www.rap4uk.com. Thanks, then, Phil. You're welcome. Bye. Bye now.